So the Ambazonia terrorists for Bamenda ADF under Ayabacho Lucas, they don't declare a ban to taxi them inside Bamenda. Especially they say they want me all taxi, they, they change the color from yellow to the amber colors and blue or white. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah, you can just tell it's going to end in tears. But then again, we have to let them try and then end up in tears because that only way that for Anglophones then for learn. So some people that they ask me, say, Contiman, what do you think about this? I, I tell them, say, well, now listen, they be come up with this same hair brain scheme for ban Cameroon ID cards and all Cameroonian documentation for ca how how market pass for that one. And uh, when I need to understand say this, so they be desperate and frustrated. They don't know what to do else. Like they, 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 they can see they are losing every single day. And when a person they be that desperate or people they be that desperate, they go come up with some kind of stupidity where it go instead compound on their their uh, rapid decline. So uh, it is good in the in the sense say it go uh, quickly bring an end to ambassador terrorism it could bring about more black legs but of course it'd be bad in a sense a bit devastating to the civilian population on the ground inside bamenda and the people the way they own taxes the way they just want for make a living with taxes them it'd be bad for them but then again when i get for understand uh, the fundamental dynamic on the ground ask yourself this question the terrorists where they can't break people they are taxi them stop or cut them and do all those things and where they are trustees and kidnapping for ransoms who are they now alien people then they get now three heads who said they come out are they not people from that same community there you go it answer your question right those terrorists now picking them for bamenda now picking the way they will ride okada for bamenda they will drive taxi for bamenda now picking the way they bond them for bamenda now picking the way they are papa them now them they suffer the consequences of their own actions them so now anglophones where did they suffer anglophones we have to be cognizant of this reality so how else you you expect that same community where they begin to come up from there for denounce them and bring about their rapid demise the end to ambazona terrorism because some people the day even people the way they don't already know say ambana bad news ambana bad luck ambana terrorism but the people they still get a guilty conscience they is still get some some kind of sympathy for the beginning where they go for bush you know, I know why because this population they understand say not them radicalize this beginning and send them for bush so there is that guilty conscience where anglophones they feel them so on one hand they want the nonsense and the nightmare for end on the other hand they feel guilty. Say so me, they no kill the picking them. So unless the picking they torment anglophones, them reach for level way. What I go pass Gary, the population will just say no better. The picking they die. Then another time way, the same population when not them burn the picking them, when not them radicalize the picking them, send them for bush. Now the same population now they go actively work for eradicate the nonsense. It be very difficult for mommy for throw away picking. Even if they begin the thief, even if they begin to commit all kind of trustees, them woman way carry picking for a belle bond up picking, it get a special bond, it get a special connection. You know what they mean for you for race picking? No, no, be be scared. No, be not one day thing, no, be not one month thing. You're talking about dedicating a good 17, 20 something years of your life every single day meticulously caring for that picking making sure say it is sleep fine it is chop fine it work close make sure say no be too cold it no be too hot make sure say you provide for ye change your clothes make sure say you e, e be proud of you you be proud of ye and then you nurture ye nurture ye you don't spend 17 to 20 something years of your life invest them in that picking and then suddenly for you for turn your back on that pekin, for sacrifice them, say me they kill them, so that make you get small fresh air. No be bonbong. So the population for the anglophone zone, they still get this maternal instinct towards this pekin them, or you can say paternal instinct because now parents and when papa and mommy them too, so they get that link, that bond. Now pekin the way they go school together. 
Pikin the way they be the share uh, uh Krabins, Yahood or Alaska as when they call them for eleven February and twenty May. Pikin the way when I go for church together, they will play drums, they will dance for cultural weekend and all of those things them now part of the community and the society for Anglophones them. It go need something where it be devastating for make the population for the Anglophones them turn their backs against Ambazona terrorism. So every time with the Amber terrorists they commit atrocities them such as destroying people that vehicles them, taxi them, Okada, and things like this, killing and kidnapping Anglophones them. Now, wait where we need them for reach that critical mass, for reach that point of no return, where mommy we born picking, nurture them, the picking grow, the mommy go turn it back, sell that picking, say me the kill them. Because that mommy go realize say, it be in your own interest and the general interest of the community, the good of the community. So make that picking go. Better make it go. And then make that mommy rest. Make the population rest. Because that picking, it don't become bad. It don't be a bad seed. And all mommy them, they get hope. Say so they are picking, even though it's bad, they get a hope. Say so if it be redeemed. Say so that picking, maybe if it change one day. And now one of the reasons that way they go continue for the endure, continue for the bear the terrorism, continue for the seed they picking them, cover eye. Just try for survive that moment in time. Just try make that nightmare go away. You survive and live another day. And then you go pray and then you go keep on hoping. Said the picking will change. Keep on hoping. Say no na you, they go kill him next. Say better me the kill a different person. And the reality and the truth now say with if these terrorists they will kill now francophones now bamlike them these same bamenda people them the okada riders and the bike people them and the taxi drivers are there for the celebrate make one understand and now which that i call them a paradox and the wickedness of the anglophones where it manifest for our face with the siam these same people the way they cry say they burn their bikes they destroy their taxi them therefore they celebrate if they be do them now for bamlike people them if they do them now for francophones they're very glad but now that they do enough for them, that the only time that way you go see them, they swallow speed, they twist their face, they vex, but they vex na inside house, they vex na backpack. Make that vex and that anger a manifest, a reach for public, where they go take their phone, call military talk, say, this one day for you. And they don't keep plenty for Bamenda just like that. Senior man, how I think they will kill you? Senior man, they kill you, then you want General Omega for Bamenda. How would I think they kill it? If they want to, it can't can celebrate now New Year and Christmas. It be day for town. It be get more than two million francs as a pocket change inside a pocket and where they kill it. Liberation tax now call them. They kill it, they wipe their food, move the two million, go buy them, boat, begin drink them, shit on them. And and I like it. So that is it. Now 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 your own victims them people the way don't torment them, extort money from them, all of those things them. They just see you. they come out for watch a football for for Bamenda Day. They see, they follow a movement, they just call me to tell you, sit there for this house. They just go move you, wipe and travel, corner road, move, charge your pocket, move their money, move mobile phone, then come up again, go them. Sweet. And the need for continue just like that. When the population don't say enough is enough, they will do what it will be necessary. Thank you for playing to my country people then. I the one call on all Southern Cameroonians, I mean people the way they be the claim yesterday. Where they be the claim say they want free Ambazonia. They be this, uh, uh, this. They, they fight for their people. Do so, 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 so. When I don't wake up, when I deviate, when I come up, go left, go right. And with them, they can't fool. When I say they will bring firepower, they will bring hurricane, they will bring million dollar donors, they will do so. I if I say will bring Norwegian professor, they will bring a Norwegian professor, they will bring you as German lead talks them. They take when I go left, they take when I go right, they take when I go right, they take when I go left, they take when I go everywhere, everywhere. Nothing to show. They carry when I go for Canada, nothing to show. All this thing. Now, even some of you people. Where when I wake up, the remnant, the way we call and say, uh, 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 um, candy, uh, remnants, that candy for conchaf, uh, uh, for 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 con candy, yes. <laughs> Maybe not, not the talk that one where they remove our milk candy. When I still can't shoot them, when I there for inside 
and Bazuna government. When I go talk with Chris and with them, when I talk to me, they go from a different ABC for them, made they all draft for federal draft, made they all do so, uh, made they all follow president, made they move the post of vice president uh, so that tomorrow they will talk to the no one post of president, made them move all this kind of All those things, them, we know, we the see when I find. Say, I'm basing on an abstract independence, an abstract, so, 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 so. No. <laughs> So some person also asked me, say, countryman, for that collage where you make him, I don't see this person in the picture. I don't see that one. So one, the toxic parliamentarians, no day for day. Senators, no day for day. They say ex-combatants, Clovis, no day for day. That is besides, that is going into the nitty gritty and going into the woods. First of all, I don't put bell to see picture for day. He represent all ex-combatants then, okay? Of course, parliamentarians go there for day one or two. No matter all parliamentarians, all senators, and one or two, they go there for day for represent their own organization and association. The way where a conference like that go hold, it go get delegates, it go get representatives them. And when I feel see them for day for the collage where me and make them, for instance, the very first picture I put them for day, na um, the phone of Bambalang, okay, na the president of the House of Chiefs. For Northwest, okay. I also put from Mukete you picture for day, okay, because these are traditional rulers where they hold the customs, they are the custodians of our culture, they get that authority will be vested in them by ancestral blessings for talk on behalf of our people, okay. I don't also put civil society and the clergy, you get imams or the religious leaders, then because they get the moral authority for talk on behalf of the anglophone population because not them be the custodians of the moral fiber of the society and then you get the politicians then people then like his um excellency chief dr john gute when a traditional ruler by his own right and then again even at the head of government imagine if you get a caliber of people like that the the minister of the interior territorial administration the minister of the exterior external relations we be lucky, say the Minister for External Relations and the Minister for uh, 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 Interior, the Territorial Administration. Now both Anglophones, both Northwest people, them. Okay, one come on for Akum, the other one come on for uh, uh, Old Town, Bamenda. Okay, and then Prime Minister, na 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 person where it come on from from Dian. So imagine, say you get all of these people, them Minister Fu Kalistus, them uh, Minister Acha Rose, and all of these people, them with their powers and authority and their round stamp if they endorse something then that thing can be implemented i might tell you now some golden opportunity where we'll get them president paul beer if he give the powers for hold the grand national dialogue to two people them were well, one person the prime minister and head of government and the person where it be assisted now uh, the minister for uh, external relations uh, minister felix bayou when a bamenda man and the prime minister and Nandian man, those two people them, now them be before front for the grand national dialogue. Now opportunity that way Anglophones they get them where they misuse them as usual. Okay, those two people they get enormous powers for influence which way the president it do as far as the Anglophones they be concerned. Yes, I understand people they talk today. So some politicians and the uh, Anglophone politicians them uh, they be unwilling for for participate in those kind of things um, and whatnot yes there are politicians they have interests and no politician has a permanent enemy or a permanent friend you just need to identify their interests and work along those interests and work with them at the end of the day do you want to have a conference with resolutions and um and a policy that will never be implemented or do you want to have a conference with resolutions and positions that will be implemented that is the question do you want something that can actually gain traction and actually be implemented and actually cause impact to people's lives and change lives or do you just want to to be aggrieved do you just want to exercise anger for sure say we get problem yes i don't vex i don't vex i don't go me at the end of the day you want for implement the decisions and the positions that come out of that dialogue you want it to be implemented so you need the people in positions of power that can cause that implementation and that can cause that change so in order for any person for think about implementing this kind of policy this kind of anglophone conference or whatever it has to be 
inclusive and it has to have this plurality i make a make a underscore that plurality when we are to talk about for example you need for include all the different sectors and all the different walks of life if all of them maybe not all but at least 70 to 90 percent of the of those people they be represented and then now whatever policies or decisions or declarations that come from that conference you can then say they are coming from the anglophones these are this is what the anglophones have said but so far we haven't done that so far some individuals in the Anjangi house claim that they speak for anglophones claim that they are more anglophones than other people and and you're not for example in the days of the lawyers and teachers i mean with all due respect barista agbobala if they talk on behalf of the lawyers them for his one jangi houseway they put you as the leader for the anjangi house in order to talk on behalf of anglophones who mandate you who give you the power and the authority okay you don't get no legitimacy for talk on behalf of anglophones you be anglophone yes he get the right for talk as an anglophone yes and he get the right for represent himself and his opinion yes but he don't get no mandate or authority for talk on behalf of anglophones or he doesn't represent all anglophones you should understand that so when you get for example person like the the, the lawyers association is send a representative or send a candidate or a delegate the teachers representative the teachers union what are the primary and secondary and then you get the okada union the taxi union okay the traders union you get the ex-combatants they send their own representatives you get members of the uh, uh, anglophone members of parliament they send a representative or two you get the senators they send representatives or two you get um the mayors they send representatives you get uh, the house of chiefs you get the 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 northwest regional assembly you get the southwest regional assembly they send their own representatives you get uh, uh, traditional rulers and the custodians of our culture they send representatives you get all these different walks of life all these different individuals then if 70 to 90 percent of them assemble because mateuna enogu ever be 100 percent now why that way for democracy we did talk about majority carries the vote in order for succeed in a democratic society all where you need now 50 percent plus one it means that if you don't get 50 percent of the vote you only need one other human being for vote for your side you win only majority carries the vote okay if you get 49.9 percent of the other ones then they lose because for life it not be possible for get 100 percent for abide or for follow the same strategy or the same roadway you follow them it not be possible so make we not even waste our time for try okay no be possible so if you feel get 60 70 80 percent of the anglophone community for a line behind you that's all that's all you need then you go ahead so the next question you go ask yourself now say where to go force some other people them like the so-called separatists them like the ambazona terrorists them for fall behind this plan simple majority when they themselves understand now say they've been a minority when they themselves know that they will be crushed when they themselves know that they have been defeated they no will get no choice than to join the winning team so like i talk if you don't really get 70 to 80 percent of all walks of life in the anglophone zone they line up behind this plan all man they anticipate say it go work they anticipate that it looks a uh, success peace and all of these things then they go happen all man will fall behind that that, that plan and it will be in that time now way papa them mommy them civil society them reverend fathers them catechists them lawyers teachers barristers all man for anglophone zone journalists journalists they be very important because now they will take this message they spread them all man hear them they will talk they will go inside villages them do sensitization campaign all that people will come out for bush the one where they don't come out they kill them now the solution that and then the noise makers the way they want the way talks they want for carry gun they know will be nowhere to be found because they go don't kick them for the level way the few one the way they remain they go run and then now the path the, the path it will be clear now for the people the way they be the one for talk properly talk about peace seriously talk about the anglophone problem then they will go ahead we could get the clear path now for for fit do that for fit discourse okay but so far anglophones they never unite under one purpose 
all the traditional rulers them all the mayors them and all the the politicians them and all the civil society and all the trade unions them they come together as one body with power they don't just back they don't just make noise like this so-called um how they be called again the so-called consortium who are they who formed them who do they represent they they don't represent even 25 percent of the anglophone population but they can't claim upon themselves say they talk on behalf of all anglophones and see how it turned out what's how they did today and and what what are, what results did they bring us except for ambazona terrorism where it don't come now can they instead kill the anglophones them where they claim say they want to protect them they don't can they kill the anglophones them instead so the reality now say with it, plurality it be needed plurality means say with it, no one anglophone be more important than the other anglophone okay when you don't consider all these sectors all these walks of life all of them especially our political elites where they day inside the cameroon government lure them convince them cajole them for support the initiative make them participate make them be part of the initiative and then now, now those kind of people they go make sure say whatever uh resol resolutions and policies and statements or whatever it be arrived at from that conference can be implemented without them nothing will be implemented so what's the point so you can go and talk amongst yourself and that the reason that way the anglophone general conference one and two failed because they could not implement the policies that they 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 they, they, they declared and also remember say it would be necessary for ambazonia terrorism for happen in order for this kind of initiative for fit succeed ambazonia terrorism it was bound to happen like i don't explain for now you know if it satisfied people the way they know first even know which way they want in amongst the anglophone population you be get a radical voice where they don't always want for carry guns for challenge the cameroon state they've always wanted to do that and for anglophone general conference one and anglophone general conference two the voice of reason the people the way they will talk about the argument of force they be overcome the one the way they will talk about the force of argument so in order for pacify them that one of the reasons that way the anglophone general conference will be failed for one and two but this time around if the anglophones they hold a conference there will be no voice of the radicals the way they want violence because they have already tried it and they have failed so the people the way they talk about the argument of force they don't try them they don't carry the guns them right what have they achieved they don't instead take we anglophones them backwards a, like a decade so the people the way they will talk about carrying guns or whatever it be being necessary for them for play their hand for them for play that card for them for carry the guns them because all along they will talk say oh uh, we na own no work because we never carry the gun we na own never work because we no carry the gun now when they don't carry the guns and they don't fail now the right time this way anglophone conference if it hold and if it produce results the other two way they don't hold a no produce no results now because the radicals them they be get a big voice but now the radicals they no go get no voice because you have played your card when i don't show on a hand when i don't carry the guns them right how market pass when i fail so now the people the way they get the they talk about the argument of force they don't lose now that the force of argument it will prevail the force of argument now need for play hand they need for come together now convene themselves and use all the tools and strategies the way me i don't put them for this audio and for this video they will succeed but it will take a lot of time and it will take years even for this kind of conference for come to fruition if at all so with that said i hope say i don't answer all my questions then now my thoughts now my opinion and i remain steadfast in my fight against ambazonia terrorism ambazonia terrorism must be destroyed must be crushed anglophone crisis now a totally different thing and those two must be separated anglophone crisis is about fighting for the rights of anglophones ambazonia terrorism is criminality where they feed on the anglophone agitation and then they cause more harm and more pain to the anglophones them kidnapping for ransoms raping stopping children from going to school that is not 
fighting for anglophones that is instead destroying anglophones and that's why Ang ambazonia terrorism must be defeated and the anglophone conference can only work now that ambazonia terrorism has been beaten they have been defeated to a level where they just been now and noise makers on facebook now the right time this for fit convene that kind conference you feel convene them anywhere in the, in the anglophone zone because ambazonia terrorists have been pacified and now they only get pockets of armed bandits where they go make noise make noise make noise and yes every now and again even a broken clock can tell the right time but for totally and completely pacify and just totally eradicate this nonsense this kind of conference need for happen and if now want they buy in from the political elites then do the hard work no she don't forget the things today so now some person where it don't already get a position it don't already it don't already reach level for cabinet minister inside Cameroon government it don't achieve the highest height where it don't ever fit imagine for your career and for your life so right now now you need it nobody you need you right so make we understand say now we the anglophone population the we the civilians them we where would they die on the ground now we need them they don't need us that is the truth they don't need you for voting it be appointed by the head of state for work for achieve the head of state you you mandate or you you job role way give you okay so the ministers them for your own day they be appointed by president Paul Bia. they don't need your vote they never ever ask for your vote so I mean you vote for them because you don't vote for them you need to vote now for parliamentarians and senators and mayors. You need to vote for ministers then. So if now one their support, you have to earn it. You have to go to them and you have to consider their political interests. Because that is how world politics works, not just for Cameroon. Everywhere in the world, now so politics it will work. Consider their interests. Make sure, say, those interests they be satisfied and they be met. If you go for for go. Uh, discuss one person and for go take 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 and you give nothing then there is no incentive for you for even entertain you there is no incentive for you for even grant your audience it no be obliged to grant you an audience if you can't show up for your office from first to 31st it no go ever see you but it day for that same office it can office every day so now it be incumbent upon the anglophones them it will not be genuine and will not be serious about resolving the anglophone crisis i don't tell you now this is the only the only formula that will ever work no white man european american or whatever nonsense we don't prove them to una say the, the european union the african union the united nations they don't get no influence for for impact the cameroon government policy as far as the anglophone crisis be concerned when i don't carry the guns them turn the kill now on people them what do you want the international community to do just sit there and laugh at you and that's what they've been doing for the past seven or eight years so if now want for be serious and solve the problem this is the formula this is the only solution when i need for start lobbying it would take una at least one year for even get anywhere close to about three or four cabinet ministers them for uh, for for sign on to this program after that maybe another one year before such a conference if a fit happened so you're looking at about 18 months to 24 months if una be serious and if una do the hard work and if we are not do them, then the status quo is fine. The Cameroon government is not just comfortable. It's as a matter of fact, CPDM don't win every single parliamentary and senatorial seat in the Anglophone zone. So what is the incentive? And as a matter of fact, the status quo, as things are right now, it is benefit na CPDM, it is benefit na the Francophones, it is benefit na the political elites, it is benefit na the, the, the wealthy people and the kidnappers the way they kidnap one for bush collect ransom so the ball is in your court if you think say you really want to solve the problem then you know what to do and at the call on the civil society authorities at the call on uh, the the religious leaders the traditional rulers and any other good uh, well-wishing person where he want to see the anglophone problem solved and ambassador terrorism stopped once and for all for do what you need to do and this is all and this is everything and this is the only solution anything other than this will not work at the tell it will not work at the tell from experience thank you plenty my country people then really when i say we now i'm thinking of myself as an anglophone i thought uh, in my conclusion in listening to the interventions of anglophones i arrive at the conclusion that uh, they were not saying the same thing and that they did not really know what their problems were.
the problems were not clearly defined. So I thought that it would be good for the Anglophones to meet and define clearly and as objectively as possible what their grievances against the central administration are. And that is why when I met a monster that I have known for quite some time and who has international experience, I called him and we spoke together and uh, he accepted to be a sort of secretary if I convene, uh, if I propose, you know, the idea of a third Anglophone uh, conference.